rather than the data that is visible to us, he actually goes into constructing a pile of data, whereas it is not so visible. Grasso actually goes into talking about the unseen, the invisible data that has been generated throughout nature. Hello everyone, my name is Uli and I am one of the directors in uh, Gallery Periton in Hong Kong and Shanghai. Gallery Periton was established in 1990 by Emmanuel Periton in Paris. In 2012, we opened our Hong Kong location. Currently, we are having a show of uh, French artist Laurent Grasso in the gallery. He intertwines a lot of heterogeneous temporalities, as well as uh, geographies, as well as uh, ultra phenomenons compressed together. He's very interested in the practices of celestial objects as well as historical references towards humanities. Artificialis comes from uh, a, a, an invitation, from a collaboration from Musée d'Orsay. Uh, the main series of the exhibition, the Future Herborium series, actually stems from Artificialis, which is a film that is collaborated um, with uh, Musée d'Orsay um, for an exhibition titled The Origin of the World. Grasso has used two different aspects to cut into this dialogue with the museum. Extending from Charles Darwin's HMS Beagle expedition, Grasso wanted to develop further how basically uh, nature is recorded from centuries ago. He is now employing um, high-tech methods such as uh, LiDAR cameras as well as thermosensitive cameras to actually incorporate found images because of the pandemic to produce a film. This film actually is a composition of, of the data um, that has been collected in, uh, through invisible grounds. It collects things that, that we that is through a mega data that is usually very, very uh, com complicated to be deciphered. So the artist also thinks of the film as a, com a collage of data. However, it requires the, the viewers and the readers to decipher uh, throughout the recording of the nature. The film Artificialis will be debuted starting from May in Westbun and Pompidou in Shanghai. The Future Arborium is one of the main series being shown in the gallery. From Grasso's point of view, this blurred line of um, human input as well as nature is diminishing the differences. At some point, the artist even believes we live in a post-Anthropocene society where we can no longer distinguish what is derived from nature and what is the human input. There is no longer a clear differences between the two. From Future Haborium series, the artist has collected data from Fukushima area, whereas after the nuclear outbreak, where there has not been any human interference actively, however, the, the remnants of human activities, such as the radioactive material and the wilderness that is allowed currently, uh, creates an imaginary species. The artist is trying to distinguish between human input as well as what is originally natural. So the Future Herborium series is a combined imaginative series based on uh, true natural evidences. I think the artist responds for social issues through a lot of uh, his intentions. I mean, the fact that he was uh, direct certain uh, angles towards this radioactive uh, area and what nature has produced in such area since, it's, it's basically a, a, a reminder of what nature and human are so closely intertwined these days and that it is very difficult to distinguish one from another. Solar Wind is a work um, that is erected by the artist in 2016 on the outskirt of Paris. The artist has worked with four different national agencies, one of them being uh, CNES, um, to collect solar data and transfer them simultaneously onto illustrations and projections onto a building on the outskirts of Paris. 
This process is from collecting the solar data, coding them, and transferring them into light arrays onto the structure that they're being projected on. And they are uh, simultaneous with the solar activities, and they are uh, in time and, and live. Solar wind is already being exhibited in the Zhongnan Museum during its exhibition. I think this actually coincides with the artist's practice. The artist is very much into mixing heterogeneous uh, temporalities. By mixing this older series with his newer series, there is an overlap with time, as well as there is an extension of uh, imagination that uh, there is a cause and effect towards these um, uh, mutation as well as development of these scientific pieces. Within the Studies into the Past series of this exhibition, um, the artist actually inspired by Castiglione um, that incorporated a lot of uh, elements alongside with the traditional Chinese painting so that there creates a mixed culture as well as time um, um, onto one canvas.